Thomas Peters won more points than any other player on either side of the Ryder Cup, making quite an impression as a rookie, and the Belgian joined Anna to give her some tips on her chipping. The short game is an area of the game that a lot of people struggle with. So many things can go wrong. Just talk us through when you're approaching a shot like this, what you're thinking about. Um, I think first of all, you, you try and choose what shot you see and then you know, try and pull that shot off and not go for the high shot when the, when the easy shot is to, to go low. So for example, on this one, um, with the greens being that soft, I'd probably pitch it on the green and let it run. But if it would be, you know, if it'd be a little harder, I would definitely go for the low shot and skipping shot. So okay. for example, if you see the low shot, I'll probably start uh, land it a couple yards in front of the green and let it run up to the flag. Something like that. That is almost perfect. So just talk us through your kind of stance and, um, and your body position in a shot like that. A shot like that, I try to uh, close the cup face a little bit, put it on the, on the toe so the ball comes out low and kind of spinny. Put it on my back foot so I don't get it too high. Because um, if you get it too high, landing an upside, we could just stick there. Um, so I'll, I'll do it again, and then you can try it afterwards. <laughs> Thank you. So not really much of a backswing, really? No, it's just short, short movement. OK. Here you go. Now it's your <laughs> turn. So, on the back toe. On the back toe. Yeah. Close the club face a little bit. Close the club there you face go. a little bit. And slow swing, fast swing? Quite fast, yeah. Soft grip? Uh, that's up to you. Okay. That's... It's not bad. That's actually acceptable. Yeah, Okay, so that's the lower shot. Yeah. Can you show us the higher yeah, shot? Yeah, of course. So with the higher one, you open your body a little bit, open the club face, take a little bigger swing, and this where you need to have some soft hands. Okay. So you, the ball kind of floats and it's very soft. And you try and land it on the green to stop it. See, there's a lot of spin on that ball. How do you how do you get that on there? Um, I think it's putting the, the right pressure down too. Um, if you, for example, if you open it to open up your body too quick, the ball's going to kind of run off the face. So it'll yeah. have like a clanky sound mm -hmm. and it'll just run. And if you have the right pressure down, it'll catch it right in the middle, hit, get some spin, and it'll just stop. And you can you know you can kind of play with the spin if you want it to spin right to left or left to right. And when you look at the ball, are you kind of looking to hit the back of the ball or half an inch really behind the ball? I don't really think about it that much. See, this is what amateurs do. They I've, overthink I've, everything. I've never looked at the ball when I swing a golf club. I always look over here, which is really weird. Okay. I can't look at the, yeah. I, I try to look at the ball, but then I chunk it or top it or. Yep. So it's just some, I don't know what, what happened so to me when I was young, but. Nice. You want to okay. try it now? I'll give it a go. Yeah. <laughs> so open your stance, open yeah. your club face. Well, I'll put it a little bit Towards the back, back foot again? Uh, no, just in the middle. Just open the, middle. the club face a little bit. Yeah. Okay. And take a little bigger swing, soft hands. Mm -hmm. Soft hands. There you go. There we go. That's pretty good. It's almost closer than mine. Wow, didn't want to say anything. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Thomas, thank you for joining us. That was brilliant. Thank but I'll much. give you your club back. Thank you. Best of luck for the rest of the season and we'll see you see you soon. Thank you.